for education and humanity, emphasizing that they added Igbo language in order to encourage the students to speak their mother tongue, which is Igbo language, to prevent it from going into extinction. Dr. Ibojindo also thanked the key partners for their support in, pr in promoting education through their immense contribution to the foundation and charged the students to always read their books to make both their parents and the foundation proud. The essence of all this is to continue to promote education of the young ones. Best Life Masters did their first edition and second edition last year and uh, last two years and last year and uh, today is uh, the third edition. We shall continue to be doing this thing. I am uh, through my electoral resources I make from my businesses. Also speaking, the state chairman actors guild of Nigeria, Evangelist Leo Ewuzie, who also serves as one of the examiners, commended the winners who are all girls and urged the youth to shun get rich quick syndrome to avoid distraction in their education pursuits. Encourage the boys to go back to their books and read. Yeah. Study hard. Yeah. There is no reason the girls will take all the best positions and the boys were there as uh, all lookers of what? They should bend down and study because uh, education is still the root of success in everything you do. If you don't, if you don't get uh, educated, neither will you get anything. At the end of the competition, Miss Ibebu Victoria from Community Secondary School Ndiowu won a mathematics competition, while Miss Ma for Precious from Abbott Girls Secondary School Ihiala won Ibo Quiz competition. My heart is just filled with appreciation. I would like to say a big thank you. And I also pray to God to continue to bless them. From what that the, this foundation stuff do not that God continues to replenish them, they will not get dried up. That is my prayer. Because I'm really, really the event featured presentation of Best Brain Contest Education Icon Award to some of the key partners including ITEL Mobile, IGAGO Academic and Health Foundation, Pella Ejofo Foundation and Akba Azag Foundation amongst others. Presentation of cash prizes, certificates and other prizes including gold medal to the winners forms the high points of the event. In an effort to address the challenges of out-of-school children, the federal government has reintroduced school feeding program suspended by the former president Muhammad Dubuhari's led government after running it for many years. Speaking in a press briefing on the sidelines of a one-day retreat on quick wins in the ministerial deliver deliverables from 2023 to 2027 in Abuja, the Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, said restoration of the school feeding program is top on the President Ahmed Tinubu's agenda and will include pupils in basic school six. Princess Ikwajide of Abuja Bureau has the details. According to the Minister, restoring school feeding program will assist in checking learning crises which if not tackled will be difficult to address the challenges of out of school children. The Minister said the President directed that the school feeding program be moved from Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs to the Ministry of Education and we are targeting at sending 15 million students back to school by the year 2027. He announced that the ministry has mapped out various programs aimed at overturning the problem of out of school children and promoting quality education in Nigeria, including solving the problems of insecurity in schools by working in tandem with communities, approved a proposal by the National Universities Commission for establishment of transnational education in Nigeria, among others. We will be paying particular attention to this act and a certain phenomenon in line with the President's commitments we will work towards returning 15 million or more after school children back to the classrooms by the year 2027. So we are going to have school feeding at the entire basic level and the basic education level. In Abuja, Princess Ekwi Ajide reporting. And that does it on the hard news. We shall be bringing to you insider news in a short while. Join us.
glad to have you on inside of this proper. Celebrating loved ones when they are still alive was the brain behind the 80th birthday and 67th birthday anniversary of Chief Samuel Agunwa and Queen Elizabeth Ijoma Odogu. The Dua celebration was organized by the children of the celebrants led by the first child of the family, Dr. Odogu Emeka Odogu, who is also the chairman of Nigeria Union of Journalists and Amber State Council. Gazo Bileri of Insider News now reports. One of the major reasons why parents bear and nurture their children is to have solace in old age. Like every other average family, caring for seven children and seeing them become successful in life, Chief Samuel Agumwaudogu and his wife, Queen Elizabeth, worked hard to train their children with mega resources at their disposal. Their efforts were blessed by God's grace as their seven children, Emeka, Chioma, Ikechuku, Chizoba, Ifani, Obinna and Uchenna are excelling in their various fields of endeavor. At a time when the couple felt that they have arrived, trials came to rob them of their fulfillment as proud parents by posing sicknesses as a barrier to their happiness. Despite having strokes three consecutive times, Chief Samuel is still standing tall as Iroko of the Dogus dynasty and his wife, Queen Elizabeth, is also alive in the land of the living. Makarandi Bostina, Onye Chie Adironizu, Ive Amaimea. Mrs. Elizabeth Odogu has a peculiar birthday because she came into the world on the exact day Queen Elizabeth came to Nigeria. And so after all the sickness saga, the children decided to say thank you Lord for saving their parents from the clutches of death for their father's 80th birthday, their mother's 67th birthday and their 47th marriage anniversary. The event started with Thanksgiving service at Holy Trinity Anglican Church, Amanuke, being their home parish. The Archbishop of Niger Province, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, was at the service. You can see the, between the two couples that marriage depends on love. I see them as people that really love themselves. We want to use this opportunity to tell the couples, to the married couples all over the state, that marriage. The longer the marriage, the closer the couple become, okay? And the more they will be able to, you know, have affection for each other. Life is a gift. So they recognize the fact that God has given them this gift of longevity. And that's why they are thanking God. And that's why we are here. <laughs> and so, families should organize themselves to seek relationship with Almighty God. The Odogus took out time to go for special Thanksgiving. Soon after, at a reception, friends of the Dogus, associates, colleagues, well wishers trooped out in their numbers as they came to felicitate with them. Among them were Chief Val Ozibo, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, Paul University Oka, Professor Stella Kuna, and many others. Um, I mean, I live to celebrate my parents' 50th and 60th birthday anniversary uh, until my father passed on last year at 94. So I'm wishing his father is only just 80 and mother 67. Uh, he must get to that 94 before we're not talking about the Jara that will follow. It's your side your celebration, not your father. So I commend you for what you have done. And I think we need to go a leaf for what happened today. When your parents are getting old, a time will come. As a matter of fact, I'm going to talk with my children this December. They should be celebrating me very soon. Oh, the reason. If I am here today, but one of the things God will say, I can hear me, I can only hear them do. Naked, naked, naked. I went and see, no God is looking at me. To the celebrants, it is the day that the Lord has made and they were glad and rejoiced in it. 
Dr. Dogu Emeko Dogu is the first child of the family. Together with his wife, Obial Namma, they withered the storm and now see light at the end of the tunnel. This is celebration of life. And I'm happy, I'm glad. Those who are here, those who are really my people, those who really counted on life, those who don't celebrate inanities, these people are people who value life, human life. I said my father has been sick in the last 20 years. I said my mom was crippled. Let me celebrate them. Those who are here, those who value life, human life, who wish us well. Those who are not here, for one reason or the other, I wish them well. Question I'm asking. What I go to Oya, Iago, Akunia, Kesuo, Kukugori. How many times? How many now? We only have to go to Okona. Out the Gaka, Kachaki. I'm asking. I'm asking. That they will go handle. The bell on the chin is in your hand. The best man of the groom, Chief Samuel, and his first daughter shared the experience with the celebrants. 1976, <laughs> Bible I am At least 120 years can in the One message is very clear that it is better to celebrate loved ones when they are alive. After all, renowned Anambra born artist Flavor said it in one of his albums, and I quote, Celebrate me now that I am living, not when I die, you go through party. End of quote. And insider news agreed 100 percent to that. Somebody give me J! Give me J! Somebody give me E! Somebody give me A! Give me U! Give me A! From Amanuke in Oka North local government area. I am Ngozi Ogileri for ABS Insider News. For sure, you have to celebrate your parents while they are alive. And it's supersonic. Congratulations to the Odogus for attending this feat and they have shared this love for 47 years and still counting. 
All right, remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television, Oka, on X at ABS Radio TV, and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And before we end the news, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's it on Inside the News for today. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you Sunday next. And this is saying Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2024. My name is Maureen Stone in Good night.